Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Ali Nadam in the house coming to you guys with a quick basic tutorial that I think is really important. Um, I think everybody should implement this in their projects and I'm doing it pretty much all the time. So I'm talking about pitch modulation, how you guys can create riser effects just using your instruments or maybe samples. And I wanna show you the steps that need to be done so that you can modulate the pitch. Now, when I'm talking about that, I have here a Nexus patch, it's just a choir, and it's on F4. So let's say you wanna make a riser that's eight bars and rising in pitch. Let's play it back. So let's say we wanna to get to F5. What are the steps we need to do to create that motion, to create that automation clip? So in the past, when I was new into FL Studio, I didn't know how to do it, and I ignored a lot of basic things I should have taken a look at. So that's what I want to cover. Here in Nexus, so this is Nexus 2, you can see there's a couple of things we need to do. Uh, first and foremost, the pitch range in the top right here. This indicates how many semitones we should rise up to, like our maximum level. Uh, our min and max. So our min and max, we're going to set it to 12. So change it from 2 to 12. That's going to allow it to rise from F4 to F5. We'll come back to this pitch knob in just a sec. And next, we need to go into Nexus and change the settings. So that's in the mod section of Nexus. And you'll see this as says PB range plus, PB range minus. So raise those values from 2 to 12. And again here, that way, if you want to go down an octave or up an octave, it'll work. And last but not least, right click on the pitch knob and click create automation clip. And you'll see that on your playlist. So now all we need to do, we've prepared it. Let's just recap. We went up here, set it from two to 12. We went into the mod section, changed two to 12. And all we have to do to this automation clip is tell it you know, how far should we go up? And in this case, we want to go from 50% to 100%, which is a full octave. And we can hear that in effect. So something very basic, but it's going to allow you to create a lot of motion. It's going to create a lot of movement with your synths or samples when you guys apply this. Um, and I think it's more important for newcomers because they might get frustrated on what steps need to be done because you do need to do those steps um, independent of whatever synth you're using. So let's say we want to do it to massive. We're going to have to also bring that up to 12. Um, either create a new automation clip or link it to the existing one. So we'll link it to the existing one. Right click, link to controller, and we're gonna click on Nexus. Now what we have to do, each instrument is different. So look up the owner's manual and read how you can modulate the pitch in case you don't see it. But it's usually in like a oscillator or system kind of setting, but just take a look, you'll definitely find it regardless of what uh, synth you're using, Silent One, um, Serum. In this case, Massive has it in the pitch bend section. So we just have to bring this zero to 12. We can also bring down to 12. It's not necessary because we're only going up. So we could double click to reset it, but uh, I just want to give us, getting that good practice of doing like plus one octave or minus one octave, especially if you go back and you want to make adjustments and make it go beneath 50%. So what we've done now to massive, again, we set it to 12, the range, and we adjusted the pitch bend section in the oscillator window. And now we just have to play it back. You know, is massive also going up? So let's hear it. So you can see that's working. So guys, um, this is something I do in every project and I think it is uh, critical because then you can put a lot of layers, you can make pads that evolve over time and um, just the possibilities are endless. So very basic tutorial, but I wanted to get this one out there. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment and uh, I'm really stoked to get you guys my new electro and trap song in your hands. More details about that shortly, they're still in the works. 
And uh, anyways, I love you guys. Stay subscribed. I'll see you in the next tutorial.